Hey guys, it's Shanrock. So today I um, am going to do a video about how to shop on a budget. I am a college kid. I don't have a lot of money. I also live up in New England, so a lot of food is way more expensive up here since it has to kind of be shipped off and up into a corner. But my usual budget every week is $40. I also try to include in investing um, in myself and taking care of myself. So I do tend to spend a little bit more money on things I totally could cut money out of. And I do when I'm really, really broke. Um, but in times right now where it's winter -um and I'm working and I don't have much I'm doing, um, that is approximately about how much I spend. So tip number one is to write a list. I actually just wrote out this list. Yes, I do spend $5 on local eggs. Um, you could totally spend less if you wanted. You can spend more if you want. It's just kind of like what you're doing. My second tip is to make a little plan of what you're going to be eating. So I meal prep my lunches and dinners. So I'm going to be having steak tips with broccoli and mashed cauliflower, which I'm going to make like potatoes. It's really good. Uh, ground turkey, spaghetti squash, and sauce. I'm going to make meatballs. And then salmon, green beans, and potatoes. And then I also have a gift card to my favorite health food store. So I'm going to pick up some extra little goodies for me this week for around $20, which isn't going to come out of pocket. Like I said, it's just for a little fun stuff. So we're going to get this goji berry granola that they have. It's super good, and I love putting that in my yogurt. Uh, broccoli, spinach, the sauce, and then some snack bars. I might pick up some butter or golden raisins and dates. It's just going to depend how much I have left and how much everything is in general. My third tip is to actually look at the weekly flyer that the stores have. I actually work at a grocery store in the deli department and a lot of times we have really really good sales that are put in the papers and a lot of people don't take advantage of this week for example my cat's saying hello um, this week for example we have black angus roast beef it's normally $12.99 a pound because it's like super good quality lunch meat and this week it's $5.99 a pound and I'm actually picking some of that up simply as a snack um, at night I tend to really want something kind of savory after dinner and then like a little bit of a like a bite of a sweet thing so I try to honor my body in that way and plus it's just pretty good snack honestly just some deli meat you know um, my third tip is to look around at different stores and shop at different stores as I'm doing here some of the stuff at my normal grocery store which is Hannaford is cheaper compared to the health food store but the health food store actually tends to have better prices on produce and it's all organic so the bananas even though they're like 20 cents more you get like better bananas you know what I mean so finding little things to invest in or just better prices in general for example the dollar or the uh, health food store I go to has way better deals on broccoli so I actually usually go to anywhere from two to four stores every week just to get the best deals. Um, Hannaford has better deals on kombucha, which I'm actually not buying this week because I stocked up. But kombucha is way, way cheaper at the health food store than it is at Hannaford. So it's just good to shop around. And my final tip is to actually stick around the perimeter of the grocery store. You get all your basic things around the outside of the grocery store, but also they tend to be a lot cheaper. You have your produce, your vegetables, your fruits, and those are really good, really full of nutrients, and they really keep you going. You have, if you're a meat eater, you have your meats, you have your proteins, uh, beans you might need to go into the aisle for, go into dairy, frozen stuff like that a bonus fun tip if you like eating a lot of produce like I do if you go into the freezer section it's actually a lot cheaper in there and you have the items frozen at peak of ripeness so instead of coming in on a truck not being completely ripe I'm sure you guys have seen bright green bananas in the store before um, in order to have frozen produce what they do is they actually have it ripened there and then they freeze it at the peak of ripeness and it's also a lot cheaper since you're kind of buying in bulk so I definitely recommend buying frozen fruits and vegetables when you can it tends to make things a lot cheap so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed my tips on how to shop on a budget if you guys liked it make sure to like comment subscribe hit the bell you guys know that drill and I'll see you another time 
Toodles. Thank <laughs> you.